to waste another time for them to fill in the form so that the bag can come that same day or the next day because you can't just leave your bag on the flight and leave that same day and leave the airport. You have to fill up the form. I was there in the airport waiting for them to come out, which actually take a lot of time because uh, it's airline. They, they may be probably the other people who actually there. We were patient at the airport. They came out, at least we left the airport around before midnight. That's probably by 2, 12 or after 11. Then we left. Immediately left, we asked the band to go do a sound check. Then me, personally, I went to the hotel with Kiss and uh, Olu. So during that time, um, the band came. I didn't know. It was after everything. The band complained of some technical issues and all that before that they happened. So in that process, I thought they complained about those things. Like there was no proper closes, which actually we have to bring in some things. Which the only thing, the only missing that happened that day was the technical team. They actually tell me, maybe they were trying to actually save that part, not telling me there's some technical issue that didn't come that will make them not have to give us a perfect show. Okay, you so, so but saying now, sorry, Mr. Steve, you are saying now that it wasn't because of the gold chain. I think uh, later when we sat down, I think there was some issues beyond that chain at the closing. Okay. Which actually came but, out a statement later. Which we are okay. we are both going to address right now. There was a lot of actually issues beyond that. There was some technical issue which the the uh, the technical uh, manager came to actually complain later that he was trying not to bring out that, that day. We can try to manage it so that we can postpone the show for the next day. But at the end of the day, me as a foreigner who has to have a show in another country, trying to protect my name to make sure no matter how what goes wrong. Let's try and manage the situation, you know. So as Chris Daniel, who is an artist who wants to give the people the best, was actually trying to hold back so we can postpone this show. So a lot of things, miscommunication came at that time. So for me, I was actually begging, please, if we don't do this show, they won't understand us. We are Nigerians. I'm a Nigerian here. You're a Nigerian as an artist. If we don't perform that day, everything is going to go wrong. So that was where I was trying to push for us to perform and all that. See, that day but there was a time he's actually stand up okay let's go and manage the situation then we already meant that this venue was already messed up because the time was going the venue already messed up people were throwing bottles people were doing but that. you did not say this that day steven you did not say kiss at any point wanted to go and manage the situation you just said that they begged him for five hours i have the statements here you yes, said the promoter true. Paul Lo, you specifically mentioned Paul Lo, Paul Okoye, and I told you he was my neighbor for many years and a friend I've known for over 20 years and I worked with right from the time of Kano Heart Foundation. Uh, you said that Paul Lo begged Kiss Daniels and he was crying for five hours and Kiss Daniels refused to perform. There was no place where you said that he got up and wanted to salvage the situation. Uh, please, that was, Clary. That was after a lot of trying to beg to manage and may manage to perform this was when you wanted it was i think around 5 10 or 5 o'clock this time because we we're all in the room trying to beg him with other people here he actually started up i won't lie to you maybe i didn't measure that because that day emotion was high that day i was in the station i was we i all got i also got invited by the police because of that vandalization okay okay, yes. okay. I also got, so okay. The, the place got okay. messy I'm happy you are here to clear the air. Um, and yeah, I understand yeah, yeah. what emotions are like. And I'm not going to judge you or hold you uh, to that. Um, at least the air is being cleared. Um, another comment you made, which I remember very vividly, was the show cost you $300,000. I like money. So I know they forget money. If they mention money and they remember I'm. Three hundred thousand dollars, and Kiss Daniels was paid sixty thousand dollars. We all remember. I even brought my calculator that day and calculated sixty thousand dollars to be forty-two million naira. And since Kiss Daniels does not live too far from my house, I was thinking of how I go and wait on the road for him. Maybe we pay tight of the uh, sixty thousand dollars to me. So, um, what do you have to say about that? Did you really pay him? sixty thousand dollars in full did you pay him a hundred percent of that money or what was really the story yeah the money was paid but not 
Chris Daniel was not the direct booking to that uh, show. It was an agency like I mentioned before. It was okay. an agency now, which is the same name I mentioned. As in the whole yes. money paid. Yes, was paid to the agency. But not, I don't know their back with that agency for coming here. I believe if it's not paid, they won't be here. But for me and that agency, we actually have Steve. our back game, the whole plans completed. Steve. All right. Is there anything you want to say about the payments, the $60,000, the $300,000, the um, all those things? Is that a question to me? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Um, first, the first question is, um, what is the price of the first The Hundred percent payment was not made. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's um, he didn't buy the whole um, payment before then. But then again, we that is um, like we said, we were we were trying to sort that out with our agents, but still we were making efforts to make the show. He's there. He's very very much aware. We were constantly making effort. We were calling stylists in the middle of the night. To get us stuff we were trying to get equipment trying to just get everything so the show can still go on it wasn't a thing of um um case because daniel not wanting to perform it was never he knows that for sure i'm sure okay okay so and i'm thank and you i'm very i want to say steve and steven can, can confirm that that statement that the the full payment was not uh, made i'm sure you the full payment was made to Polo. Me and Polo only have flight. Listen, listen, listen. The full payment was made to the agency. We only have a flight deduction argument, not the full payment. The agency was supposed to make the logistics for them to get right. there. Anyway, but, um, I'm not aware of that. Yeah, the yeah you are not aware of that. The agency, are two the agency different. Was, yeah, the listen, agency like, and you, Flyboy are, listen, are two different. That, Yes, that is, you, that if is you liaise yours. with the with the agency, yeah, then the agency relates with. Do you understand me? Your agreement is with the agency, not with Fiber INC. Do you understand? But so as the, all this the, was going on, Fiber INC was. Hello, can you hear was, me? There was actually not to look with last. There's we are brothers in a foreign land which actually we have been set with we actually work these things out we actually i don't have payment problem with polo because what i had with polo was just the flight polo was supposed to book the flight which when he traveled and told me steve take care of the flight i told him i'm going to be done from the actual money that was what i did so we actually won't having payment the payment problem actually but that came up at, at the end of the day because Polo told me they have settled everything about payment. But there was an argument of you are supposed to balance this is also four thousand dollars. I told Polo I remove it from the flight we are supposed to book, which you told me I have to take care of the flight, which actually was only the amount out of that cash of that sixty thousand dollars. So look and bear me witness. There was no payment issues. What? The, the sixty thousand dollars, according to Stephen, was short four thousand dollars. So a yes. payment of $56,000, I like money, so I know money. A payment of $56,000 was made to Polo, which was supposed yes. to be rounded to you at the end of the day. Are you aware so, of this? Yo, so that the hold on, that sorry, happened between me and sorry, the agency Steve. was different, not them. Sorry, Steve, hold on. Uh, Folu, are you aware of this? Uh, I'm actually not aware of it. I'm just I'm just hearing this information for the very first time now, because um, you know the the um, the arrangement between ourselves and the agency is um, is is different. I can't I can't start revealing contract and details on Absolutely. live now to to, to two thousand plus um, people. So there are ways that things are done. So on the side, I was working on that, or we were working on that on the side. But I can't come to him and start. Saying that, oh, okay, this and this and this and this and this, what is what is going on? He knows for sure that there was no stopping in ensuring that we perform on that day. We kept on making every effort to, even when uh, um, um, the band came back, uh, uh, the airline lost our bags, they misplaced it, it didn't come. The bag had equipment and all of those, um, those things, the styling and all. You understand, but then again, 
we still sent our band there to the venue to go and check on things to see that okay what can we do my band leader came back gave me the feedback okay okay this and this and this and this is not there blah 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 what do we do what do we do what do we do? do you understand so i'm like okay hold on for what move can we make right now so the band leader was still trying to make some some calls also that's midnight and notes we got there by 1 30 a.m performance time is by three. that is one hour 30 minutes we got to the hotel by 1 30 a.m after waiting at the airport in kenya for eight hours 